Hi guys, this is Ilam and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to make a tennis skirt for myself. It is the latest fashion obsession. You must have seen lot of outfit inspiration on Instagram and Pinterest. I so wanted to have one. I had a fabric so I thought to make one for myself. If you don't know about tennis skirts, these are traditionally pleated skirts, often have kick pleats. If you are a fashion student, you will know what I am talking about. But if you are not, these are inverted pleats used to allow you move more freely while playing tennis. Tennis. Now much more in fashion. Tennis skirts have gone through many changes over the years and many different design choices exist now. If you can't stitch and want to purchase one, you can easily get it online on Amazon and other Insta stores. But while purchasing, do consider cut material and color. Also, it is better to get built-in shorts like the one I am making. If you follow me, you will be able to make one for yourself as well. So without further ado, let's start with the video. I have this poplin fabric which is a lot for this project. I guess for this project you would not need more than 1.5 meters. And the fabric you choose make sure it is quite thick so that it won't be transy. First step is to cut a long rectangle with 15 inch length which is the length of the skirt. It's the length from belly button to where I want. I'm not adding any margin because anyhow I'm going to add a belt. And the width of the rectangle is 3 times my waist size plus 4 inches. I cut my fabric in parts so I will stitch these together to make a long rectangle. From top go down to 5 inches and draw a horizontal line. It's the length of the pleated part that I'll see you later. In my opinion don't make it any longer than that. At the top I mark at 0.75 inches from outside first. Then from that mark I make another mark at 1.5 inches away from each other. Now I am folding the group of 3 marks together to create the pleated part. Use the pins to hold your foldings. Keep folding until the width of the foldings is the same as your waist size. However, the width of the foldings at the horizontal line need to be longer than the upper line because it's a part under your belly and above your butts. So, I move the foldings at this line a bit to make it broader. Make sure the total width of this folding line will be the width of your body at 6 inches under the belly button plus 1 inch. After that, I use the pins to fix the folds between two folding lines. Then swing these foldings to create the fixed pleated part. Before stitching these pleats, I would like to make creases so that it can ease out my work. To keep all the foldings stay at the same side and not move around, I will stitch at the waist as well. I cut at 2 cm extra at two sides of the skirt for the zipper later. Next step is to make the pants inside. If you don't want, you can skip this part. I cut two rectangles with 15 inches length, which is the length of the skirt, minus 3 inches, and 26.25 inches width, which is 1.5 times a half of my hip size. Thank you. 
At the left side, I am drawing a straight line at 2 inches inside. Then I connect this line to the outside line at 2 inches upper the end. At the right side, I do the same but with the straight line at 3 inches inside. Marking at the center so that I can separate front from back part. After this, I will sew the cross lines, sides and the hem of the shorts. But on the left side of the shorts, I will leave 7 inches from the top. It will be the zipper area. Because we need to put these shorts inside the skirt, so I need to match the waist of the shorts with the skirt. Whatever will be the difference, I will make 4 folds in the each part of the shorts. If you want, you can put darts as well but I am leaving it as is so that I can have more ease in my shorts. Whatever you do, make sure the waist of the shorts is same as the waist of the skirt. Now I'm connecting the shorts with the skirt at the waistband. Before adding zipper, I want to attach my waist belt because I don't want to use button, I want my zipper till top. I cut a rectangle with 4 inches width and 27.5 inches length which is the waist size plus 2.5 inches. I use the lycra fusing to make my waistband thicker so it will have a nicer form but if you don't have it you don't need to use it. You can completely ignore this part. Connect the waistband to the top of the skirt first. Remember to keep a extra fabric at two sides of the waistband to fold in later. Before completing my belt now I will like to attach my zipper so that I can fold the rest of the belt on top of my zip and complete the finished look. Once that is done, I will complete my belt.
also I will close the open side of the skirt. And the last step of this tutorial is to fold the hem of your skirt. You can fold it earlier as well but I like to leave it later because I can check how much length I want. That's it. Just iron it and you are done. video i hope you will try it at home if you like it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel also consider following me on instagram account if you want to see lot of styling videos till then stay connected spread love sayonara